what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel today we're going to be doing a contractors VR review video but just before the video gets started if you're new to the channel be sure to click that subscribe button and if you enjoy this video be sure to click that like button as well and check out my other videos as I post funny moments review videos and just about anything VR also don't be afraid to share this video with a friend let's get right into it to start off contractors VR is literally the call of duty of VR if you're looking for a fast-paced fun running gun game then contractors is the game for you there are plenty of features from this game that I personally love, such as being able to slide and jump. And the cool thing about it is, in order to slide, you actually have to crouch in real life. Jumping on the other end, you have to press down the right stick button instead of actually jumping in real life, which I think is better than if you actually had to jump. Uh, there are also plenty of guns to choose from, such as rifles like the M16 and the G36C. They also have pistols, shotguns, snipers, and just about any gun you could think of. The game is also a pretty realistic game, but it's also not realistic enough to where it's like a military simulator, like Onward, and I think that's what makes me like it the most. You can play it in both a realistic way as well as a fun, fast-paced shooter. In my opinion, it's probably one of the best shooters on VR to date besides Population 1. This is just my opinion though. I love Population 1, and I'm really excited for the new map. If you are, however, interested in Population 1, be sure to check out my Pop 1 review video linked in the top right corner above or in the description below. Anyways, back to Contractors. The next great thing about this game that was just added not too long ago would be the new custom map update where you could relive your COD glory days by settling beef on rust or running around the airport killing all the civilians. <laughs> nah, just playing around. You can't actually do that, but you can play COD maps such as Newtown, Slums, Terminal, and many more as being shown in the video above. There are also various different game modes to choose from such as TDM, Domination, and a Hardpoint based game. Uh, it's not called Hardpoint, but it's exactly like Hardpoint. Uh, except you could also collect dog da dog tags, excuse me, like kill confirmed to win. They also have a kill confirmed game mode as well without the uh, hard point included. Uh, they also have different classes such as the ninja class or World War II class, I believe. And the host of the game can switch the weapon classes to ninja only, which means you have a bow and arrow as well as a katana only. And I personally am not a fan of this game mode, uh, whereas many people in the game are. They also have a World War II game mode where all the guns are from World War II and I actually have never played this game mode yet. I try to stick to the normal guns and the and the COD maps if I'm being completely honest. The game overall is a really fun game to get on and sweat your ass off or just enjoy yourself and have some fun. It would probably be better if you got some of your friends to play it as well. But the community is really awesome and is nice, at least from what I've seen. So far it's not that toxic at all. I think I covered all the great things about the game. If I miss anything, feel free to drop it in the comments below. Now let's get on to some of the things I don't really like about the game. So I can't say there's really much that I dislike about this game besides the occasional bug or two. I heard the game used to be really broken and got a really big update a little after I bought the game. So I don't really know much about the bugs that they were experienced beforehand. Um, the one thing I have noticed though while playing the game is when I go grab my gun on my hip like really quickly, uh, the game grabs my ammo instead. And that just might be a me problem, but that could get a little annoying. They also need to fix the spawn points because there are certain times where I spawn and I get instantly killed. The spawn points aren't too bad, but they're annoying enough to where they need a fix. Uh, for example, I was playing Hardpoint the other day and the spawns were all over the place. They would flip, but then I would find myself spawning with the other team because of how fast that they were actually flipping. I also have a problem with throwing grenades, but I have a problem with throwing grenades in every VR game, to be honest. So. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's just like also a me thing, I'm, I don't know, if you guys are also having a hard time throwing grenades as well in VR, let me know, because I, I don't know if this is just a me thing, I just suck at throwing grenades in VR, I guess. I would also like them to add a climbing mechanic when I go to climb a ladder or something. What I mean by this is I would actually like to climb the ladder myself instead of pushing up against it and levitating up it. I also think they should add a progression system so it can bring purpose to the game. So pretty much what I mean by that is you should have to unlock the guns instead of instantly having all the guns unlocked already as well as being able to level up and unlock skins or camos kind of like Call of Duty if you really think about it. Uh, I would like this so you could feel a sense of accomplishment and it will keep bringing people back to the game because they will feel like they have a purpose. Besides these couple things I don't think there's really much more to complain about the game is pretty awesome and it feels really good to get kills and dominate the leaderboard. So I think that's really all there is to say about this game as there's really not much more uh, than that um it's honestly probably one of my favorite vr games right now like i said besides population one um honestly the game's only 20 dollars usd so it's really worth it to just buy you know try it out if you don't like it you can always refund it if you don't have more than two hours of play time and i think it's two weeks of owning the game um yeah i would definitely suggest getting some friends on there uh you know 
running around on Rust. You could even do the 1v1ing, try quick scoping. The sniping on the game is actually pretty hard in my opinion. Uh, sniping on any VR game, in my opinion, is impossible. Um, yeah, besides that, this game is really good, and like I said, I would really recommend it. But I think that's going to wrap up the video, and if you enjoyed the video, be sure to click that like button, and don't forget to check out my other videos linked in the top right corner above. And if you enjoy videos like this one, click that subscribe button, as I have plenty more videos coming your way. Thank you so, very mu so much for watching, and I hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you in the next video.